Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Zuhu CRM to Zapier in 2024. Of course, integrating Zuhu CRM with Zapier will allow you to automate workflows and seamlessly transfer data as example between Zuhu CRM and various other applications provided by Zapier. We'll get through that to show you all that those apps. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into the video and simply Let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you will need to go and open a browser. For me, here I'm using Brave for you. You can use whatever you want. Once you open it, go to the CRL section. Basically, go to both your Zuhu CRM. So just go to the CRL section, type zuhu.com and, and open a new tab and go to Zapier, of course, dot so once you do so, you'll be uh, in their home screen, their main screen, both. Of course, if you have an account, uh, make sure to go and log in into your account. So, for example, open here both. So, for example, for Zuhu, you'll find your cell phone screen like this. Click on sign in to sign into your account if you have an account. If you don't have an account, click on sign up. And you can use, as you can see, a lot of accounts to sign in or even create an account if you don't want to get. So, same will be for Zapier. You can log in into your account. If you have one, if you don't, you'll have to go and create a new one. You can use Google account to create and you'll even get a 14 days free trial of all the premium features and apps and of course then after that you can use it for free forever with all the core features so once you are in zuhu here of course make sure to click on crm so we can access zuhu crm click on access zuhu crm and we should be at our zuhu crm but for zapier of course first of all we'll need to connect it to zuhu crm how to do so basically just go to this list panel click on apps right here as you can see once you click on it, you'll find yourself on this page. And here you'll have to look for Zuhu CRM. So just go right here and look for Zuhu CRM. And you will find it right here. All you need to do now is simply click on Connect. And this will open a new pop-out for you. Here they will tell you to select your Zuhu domain. Select the Zuhu domain that your account belongs. Where you'll get that from? Basically, just go to your Zuhu uh, page or tab. And as you can see for you or for me in here, I have zuhu.com. For you, if you have maybe you'd like or you'd have maybe zuhu.com.eu, .au, dot, uh, I don't know, dot .gp, depending on wherever you live at at the world. So for me, because it's .com, I'll just go here and select .com. For you, it could be you are in Canada uh, or China, Canada, Australia, as example, Europe, India, Japan. As you can see, I don't know what that is. So for me, it's just uh, .com without nothing after it. So I'll just go here and select .com. Of course, for you, if you're living in any other option, just go and select it. Then click on Yes, continue to Zoo. Once you do so, as you can see, they'll tell you to give access to read and create and all of the stuff, of course, so you can allow the connection. If you agree to all of it, just go here and click on Accept, and it should be connected to your Zapier account. For me, as you can see, the, establish, the connection is already established, so you don't have to go and connect it again. Now, once it's connected, it's time, of course, to start creating your automations and start creating your apps with, and you can automate, of course, stuff with whatever app you want. You can see if you go back here to my apps, we'll find a lot of apps, of course, that's first of all I'm connected to. So you can connect Zoo CRM as an example. You can connect it with HubSpot. You can connect it as an example. Uh, I don't know, a lot of options, like I, I can't, uh, see them all, uh, maybe Twilio, Slack, Shopify, uh, MailChimp, WordPress, Power BI. You can just connect it to whatever you want, like a lot of options that you can connect to. So, just go, let's say as an example, for me I have, as you can see, all those connections in here connected, so I can connect it to whatever apps in here. I can also, like, if I want another app, I can just simply look for it, maybe as an example, I want x.com, as example, I don't know if it's still called Twitter in here. Uh, no, it's not Twitter anymore. So about X.com shown here. So maybe it's not here. But anyway, uh, of course, if you didn't find like an app, you can always just go and contact the support. If they find like the app is useful, they will add it. Be sure of that. They will add it like as soon as possible. So keep that in mind. So basically, once you connect to apps, like an example for me, I have a lot of connections. You can simply start automating stuff with Zapier. You can go to this list panel, click on Zaps right here, and you can simply just go and click on Create uh, right at the top right corner, or you can simply just go here right away, click on Create, and then click. This should take you right here. 
So here you can start selection whatever you want to automate between, as an example, uh, Zoho CRM and with Zapier, of course, with whatever you want. So you can choose the trigger, as an example, as Zoho CRM. So Zoho space, so CRM. As you can see here, this I'll just go and click on it. Uh, the action, and of course, should be the same. Of course, here you'll have to select the event. What's uh, the event that should trigger, as an example, this trigger? Of course, if you don't want to, as an example, use those. So, as an example, I'll just click here and you can delete it. Wait, how you can delete it? Uh, or you can just simply just change here the the app. Of course, you can also, as an example, if you didn't want to do that by your own, you can simply of course, as you can see here, they have 7,000 like a plus. So I don't know what you want that connects as an example specifically. So I don't know uh, what to do exactly or what to connect exactly. But of course, you can connect unlimited stuff together. Uh, of course, if you want, you can also use uh, the AI tool that's in here. So sorry, I'll just get and use that. Yeah. And you can use this AI tool as an example to tell them what you want to connect together. Uh, of course, as an example, you can use whatever this in here so an example when i add a reaction at slack create a card in trello this is just some examples that they'll tell you you can here type whatever you want to automate for example for me i don't know what you want to do exactly so i'll just go here as an example type connect uh, zuhu crm with i don't know which app should i choose maybe i'll just choose mailchimp why not maybe send some emails or something like that and hit the enter button once i do so as you can see it will create everything for me here all the all the triggers and actions so for example they choose something randomly you can of course afterwards change the event if you want to just click on it as an example so depending on event as an example the event here or the triggers and you can when you receive a new contact as an example you can always assist it to see if it's working uh, like mailchimp will add or update subscriber as simple as that so here you'll have to fill whatever field required of course this action will change depending on the event that you choose then you'll have to test it once you find the check button on both of them you can simply publish it and the automation will be established and the connection will be established and even you can automate unlimited stuff with those zaps you have unlimited zaps to create or even in the free option or the free plan of zapier so you don't have to worry about that and yeah that's gonna be it for me today thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video so goodbye